Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. It's a special Friday. Special Friday. Yes, it is. And why it is a special Friday night? Well, because we're going to play Shadowrun. And if we have time, we'll play some Saints Row 4. I thought I would give Shadowrun just a little taste because, you know, it's been on my uh, Steam account for quite a while now. And I thought, hey, you know what? It's probably time just to pop that up there. So let's uh, go ahead and do that, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. Good to see you, everyone. Glad you're here. I am Calvion. Welcome to the ring. Let's go ahead and hit that one. Uh, what is it? A like? <laughs> follow? Hit yeah, follow. How about that? That would be fantastic. Yeah, that would be so great. And do this, and do this, and do that. Awesome. But yeah, it's a Friday night. So let's uh, party down. Let's get into it. Probably can't even hear me because that music is pretty darn loud and I don't know why I turned it up so high. But you know what? I am Calvi Hawk. Welcome to the round. Give me a follow. Let's uh, play our game. <laughs> So, Shadowrun, Dragonfall Director's Cut. So this is kind of like a remake um, of their original Shadowfall game. Just uh, reading some deets here. So, let's see. Uh, it ex it's an expanded version of a standalone game. It was released in September 2014 under the Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut. So you think it's a turn-based tactical role-playing game, which I already knew, uh, based in the Shadowrun universe, which is also based off the pencil and paper stuff like D&D &D and that kind of thing, so uh, kind of takes you back to, you know, those original, original games. The music seems really loud, don't it? Let me go to... There we go. It's probably better. Yeah, so it takes us back to like uh, the original Fallouts that were tactical based, um, that kind of stuff. Even like, even like D and D, like Baldur's Gate and stuff, uh, when you could pause time and, and do everything all in one go. So let's try. Let's try. Director's cut installed. I guess we should launch the campaign. Requires game version 1.0 or higher. Well, this is the director's cut, so it should have everything, yeah? I'm gonna go normal since it's kind of my first time with this type of game. Hmm. Hmm. Female or male? Male, female, male, female, male, male. Ooh, yeah, you get to choose your races too. Human, elf, dwarf. Orc and a troll. That's kind of crazy. Boy, let's go dwarf. Straight samurai. <laughs> Mage. A decker. Decker uses cy a cyber deck to jack into the matrix. Worldwide information created computer network. By projecting their minds into the electronic world, deckers uh, can find secrets others keep hidden away. They use programs and expert systems to fight off the protections that mega corporations place in their way. The shamans. You know what? I'll just start at the beginning. And I'm gonna probably still seems really loud. I'll I'll turn it off after this. It looks like I have to choose and can't go back. Okay. Um, Street Samurai is a freelance operative who follows a code of street honor. They are learned. They are learned in the ways of the traditional samurai and in the practices of modern combat. Samurai sell their skills for profit and work to take out the dishonorable scum that seem to breed in the urban sprawl. Key attributes we want to look for is body and strength or quickness. Key skills, close or range combat, or both. Throwing weapons and dodge, okay. 
Mages specialize in casting spells, but that doesn't mean they can't shoot guns as well. <laughs> Rather, magic is the center of their life. Their spells reflect a pure balance of mana, uh, uh, of the mana sphere, and cover a wide range of magical effects, from offensive damage attacks to character augmentation or degradation spells to healing spells. Oh, mages do healing too. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of cool though. You are not. Oh. Oh, as I say, you are not locked to this archetype and can grow your character however you wish. Oh, let me see. The pre generated character is attributes, attributes and skills. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, decorate red. Shamans believe that their magic comes from a great totem spirit that guides their life path bear, cat, coyote, eagle, or raccoon. Uh, shamans' relationships with their totems allow them to summon spirits and command them to do their bidding. Shaman have the skill to conjure spells that mages cannot. Charisma, spirit summoning, increase the skill grants a shaman a totem benefit. A rigor uses cybernetic to jack their mind and to control small robot like vehicles called drones. Riggers use their rigging abilities to provide surveillance support and extra firepower when required for drone combat. Physical Adept. Adepts are magically active characters who focus their magic internally to develop to, develop to their utmost potential, physically, mentally, and spiritually. As Adepts unlock new abilities, they become honed physical machines, using their magic to enhance their close combat abilities. None. If you feel comfortable with the way your characters are built in Shadowrun, you may create your own character by mixing skills and attributes as you wish. Okay, well, I haven't played that, so let's do this. There's actually quite a few um, faces and stuff. What's horns? What do they mean by horns? Oh, is that color horns? I don't know what that means. Okay, let's go to the stats. <laughs> Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased or by, uh, by spending karma equal to the next increment of the rating. Thus improving your body from four to five requires you to spend five karma points. You have some karma available now to customize your character. Yay. <laughs> so, how much do we have? Oh, we have six available currently. I think we want to get into this though, don't we? Oh, okay, yeah. We'll grab that one, right? Okay. How do I how do I spend it? Just like like enter or something? No? Enter. Yeah, see how do I how do I spend that? Or can I not? I can only put them in like the pluses right now. Okay, yeah, I can only put them in the pluses. Look at that. You know, like, yeah, you really can start using everything. Whew. Okay. Um, close combat. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, it does have to be that. And then there. So now I can do that. Do close combat again. And I have two left was going to be for like a gun or pistol. I think he's more like a pistol guy. I have one left, which I don't know if I have something that has one, other than maybe shotgun and rifles. Unarmed. Unarmed might be fun. Oh, this might be fun too. Or decking. 
main component to calculate the chance of, to hit enemy computer programs or deckers increase their skill unlocks. Hmm. Drone controls, spell casting, chi. It's for adepts. Spiritual summoning, conjuring. Hmm. Decking sounds like it'd be okay. <laughs> Can equip the Sony CTY 360. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's like cyberpunk. We're gonna go corporate, security, gang, socialite, shadow runner, uh, street or academic. Okay. Oh, doesn't give me any information on what those are. Okay. I'll Shadow Runner. Why not, eh? Many runners. Street names. Handles. I mean, that was a given, right? You, knew guys, you guys knew that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, press Shift plus Enter to immediately end your turn. Thanks. Life was good. Easy jobs, regular pay, a reliable crew. But things went south. And you had to drop off the grid. Put a bullet in the past and start fresh somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and amenity, amenity <laughs> uh, draws you to the free city of Berlin. The flux state, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofur, Lofur? Um, only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy shadow runner to disappear and begin anew. And, as luck would have it, home to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. It's your third run with Monica and her team. An old castle, hold fast, one hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is standard. Smash and grab. Crack the vault. Grab the data. Uh, get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monica's pre-run briefing, you pause to take in your surroundings. Look, we've paused. The estate grounds are silent, save for a faint whistling of the wind. Your team gathers near a side entrance to the old castle Holdfast, cloaked in darkness. Night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know it for what it is, a pleasant illusion that will shatter at the sound of the first gunshot. Monica. Listen up, folks. Monica Schaefer. Uh, you ran with her back in the day. Now she's your team leader. Your decking skills may be sharp, but hers are Nova Hot. Running with Monica is like taking a master class in sea breaking. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the estate, find the basement, open the data vault, extract the files, and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Uh, Dietrich, trying to get home in time for a worm talk, love. Dietrich Shaman, the old man of the team. He smiles at her, his facial, facial tattoos writhing in the moonlight. Monica's eyes twinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you you can't trust anything that comes out of the dragon's mouth? That trid trash will rot your brain. She grins. It's educational. Besides, this should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light, a few automatic weapons, no armor. With a little luck, they'll never know we were here. Just like old times, in my experience, there's no such thing as a milk run. <laughs> I'll watch your back all the same. Works for me, let's get paid. Monica's smile returns, more wistful this time. The moonlight catches her face in a strange angle. Just like old times, eh, Calvia? Milk run or not. We should be careful. Glory, razor-clawed street samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral. Her expression, placid. They may only be private security, but their bullets don't know that. 
I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather ha not have to. <laughs> oh, man, this isn't voiced. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when the original game came up, but we'll, I guess we'll see. People need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Monica raises her arm and speaks into her wrist-mounted comm link. A darkened face shimmers on the uh, view screen. Iger, are you in position? Comm link crack uh, Iger, comm link crackles, and the response comes back. Low and soft. Softer than you'd expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut, and I have a clear line of fire on the estate service entrance. When you exit the building, your path will be clear. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Iger. Just doing my job, Iger. I... Calm like goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. All right, people. Enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the vault, so we get him the data from the vault. Quick, quiet, and quick. You said quick twice. She grins. Worm talk is on tonight. She raises an eyebrow slightly. I told you, it's educational. Your gear and some weapons lie in the back of the van. Grab a weapon, grab the rest of your kit. Grab weapon. Pistol. Grab the rest of my kit. Leave the van. Oh, am I supposed to fall? <laughs> I mean, they didn't have to grab anything. Come on, I'm like the only one grabbing stuff. Oh, I can move stuff. Crazy. Kind of seems right. I'm glad we're just nonchalantly just walking up here. It's crazy. Wow, I can magically open doors from, a, you know, five feet away. Awesome. Can I look? around and all okay so I can't okay I can't rotate so these are uh, static just like the old days one of my favorite favorite games was like Crusader no remorse and Crusader no regrets oh amazing games I love those ones really enjoyed those um if I press this, does that bring me up? Nice. So, so save our game. Mission item. Just grab your gear. Keep the team alive. Get to the lower floor. Oh, what's this? Okay, what's this? That's me. Oh, I can look at my team and stuff. That's cool. Look at me. Okay. Save game. Load. Restart. Um gonna draw well, let's master volume let's do music I still want to be able to hear things right okay okay awesome as we quietly run in variety of remarkably well-preserved Slavic items. A complete skeleton of a theropod dinosaur. It appears to be what? Genuine. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it kind of slowly disappeared on me. Too quickly! Too quickly! For this old man! The vase in the case looks both very old and very valuable. A fine scroll work of lapis and gold leaf decorating its exterior, and the interior shimmers with an organic beauty of abalone shell. Your fixer could probably move this thing in a heartbeat. You can't help but notice that the glass encasing it looks awfully flimsy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not. We're, yeah, I'll walk away and come back later because seriously, I mean, we're just at the beginning of the mission and they're like, hey, why don't you set off the alarm now? Cast the display is decorated with inlaid panels of ivory scrimshaw. I don't know what that is. Scrimshaws. We should be like hiding or something, shouldn't we? This is kind of crazy. 
sneaking around. What does this one do? Oh, okay, it just centers my camera on it. Intruders in my position! I'm supposing we're entering combat. Yes, we are. You are now in turn-based combat mode. Each character on your team has an action pool. Spend these actions on movement, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Additional tutorial information is available in the reference guide, which you can access in the upper right corner of your PD menu. Excuse me. This is an aim shot. It usually uses more points. One bullet, single target. This is my weapon. Oh, I guess I don't have a sword or nothing. Hey, look, grenades. E for equipment. I can't do that currently, I guess. Is that too far to shoot? Nope. How many action points? Are these my action points or is that my level? I think that's my level. Okay, hey Monica, what do you got? You got a burst fire, you got an aim shot, and a single shot. Ah. I guess they don't have any movement points, though. Like left. How do I make them... Oh. Aim throw or single throw. One blade, single target. Oh, throwing knives. Nice. Can I... I don't think I can hit anybody, though, because he's not in a good position. <laughs> I'm not in a good position either now. Oh, I can zoom in. Sweet. Oh, wrong guy. Dang it. <laughs> I, th I thought I clicked on my... Uh, we have no action points left. Okay, can you do an aimed shot? No, line of sight is blocked, and line of sight is blocked for you too. So, what about this guy? Yeah, it's kind of far. Ow. Whew. Shotgun from that distance, man. God, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I think we found the right room. Uh, I can't do aim shot for another couple shots, so I'm gonna do this guy. Dang. Monica, need your help. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're, I don't want to bring them into this room just yet, I don't think. What's this? Uh, why? What is that? Oh, adrenaline, oh, adrenaline pump. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, I see. Ease my inventory. Y is like extra fun things. Gotcha. What's this? Overwatch. That's what I was looking for. So I can overwatch that person? Or not? No? This ends your turn and enemies who move or attack while in this area can be counterattacked. Okay, so can I, I just say, just skip then, right? Oh my dear goodness, there's people behind us. What the hell is this? That big machine, man. Ooh, that's gross. Oh, we're all gonna die. Holy smokes. And this is just normal?
Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Can I get you to... Up here? You see this guy, yeah? Yes, you do. Ugh, dang it. You are wounded, good sir. Ooh. I think you would be great. Awesome. Good work. You have knives? Line of sight is blocked. Medium cover. Nice. Jeez, why don't you just walk in the open there, dude? Oh my god. Why did you walk in the open? <gasps> oh, he missed like before he even shot it. That's that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, this music kind of repeats an awful lot. Oh, seriously? shot. <laughs> Wasted an aim shot. That's rude. Okay, Dietrich, <laughs> what are you gonna do, bud? Dragon Slayer Idol, the power the power of the Dragon Slayer. It's all friends within three tile range and incoming down. Oh, nice. So can I put it over here? Put it here? I have to put it here. Where can I put it? Okay, move over this way. And oh. <laughs> I moved him too far. Too funny. Oh, geez, he's gonna die. Oh. Holy smokes, that is. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, come on. Hmm. That was an aim shot. It was not an aim shot. It's still gone. Dragon Slayer incoming? Oh. Oh, he he gonna he gonna be dead. <laughs> he, yeah, he's gonna be dead by the time um, uh, that guy comes. Or can I walk him out of the way? Yeah, I can walk him out. Careful. Whew. No, she's. That was a crit. Wow. Oh, he healed himself? She's healed. Do I got something better? Like, I don't know. Like this? I can't throw it because it's not in the right way. Or something. Where'd it go? There it go. Chiquita, why is uh, is that guy so tough? Oh, that cover, it's like too much cover there. Um,
<laughs> oh, jeez, she went down again. Oh, come on. My act. Oh, yeah. Oh, I run out of ammo. Great. Is there a way to reload for one? So she's down in three turns if she doesn't get healed. What's this? Oh, haste. Nice. Need to heal her, but I think I have the right person to do that. Currently up. figure out how to use all these characters now. So now my gun is loaded. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, he is undercover, but he hasn't moved a whole lot either. Oh, did I just waste? I just wasted some. Can I throw that? No. No. Okay. No problem. I gotta repair her before she dies. Oh, man. oh he's up. Oh, he's up automatically? Nice. That works for me. can't put it on. Oh, is she fine now? She's, oh, okay, this is weird. I don't know what's going on. She's either fine and can't get back up again. That's a good hit. <laughs> Can I? I don't know why I'm shooting at this guy. <sighs> Gotta reload. Click, click. You got, oh, you have to move and attack still. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna get closer now because he keeps, no, but I couldn't heal her. First level. <laughs> First level. First, like, is this still like training? Oh my goodness. Can I skip that? Uh, just like old times, eh? I'll watch your back. And I have a plus on pistols too. So it's kind of weird. Is there another way in? Maybe there's just another way in. Maybe we don't have to go that way and get surrounded. Although it looks like this is the only way in. Hmm. 
Or do I break this and bring the people and shoot them from the doorway here? As you draw your weapon back to smash the glass, Dietrich catches it. His gnarled hand tightens around your wrist. Not a smart move, Kleiner. It's <laughs> not my name. Um, <laughs> we have a job to do, and hauling a great big vase around isn't part of it. Unless the vase figured into your plans to complete the mission somehow, did you have a vase-oriented strategy that was unaware of? I get your point. The payday will run. The pay the payday from the run will have to do. The vase is going to earn me a nice bonus. Uh, it can stay here for now, but I'm coming back for it. I was thinking we could use it to smuggle Monica into the data vault. <laughs> Excellent plan, Calviok. I support it fully. We should get moving, though. We mustn't keep the others waiting. Oh, wait, what? Did that work? Probably not. The elevator should be to the north, eh? This place over here is locked. But I don't have any lock picks or nothing. But, okay, but there's people down here in the south. That I feel we need to take care of first. Oh, I like this. Security alert response. Quebec 6. Matrix operations locked. HTR team responding. Override matrix operations. Door lock can't. Walk away from terminal. Oh, I need decking too? Well, how do I get decking too when I literally just started? Oh, I guess I'd have to put all my points into decking. Okay. I need you to, like, get in here at least. So you're hunkered down. Uh, who we got next? You. Good, sir. Can you cast haste on our little girl here? So, you know, uh, kind of crazy, right? No, where are you going? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I ran her up. I didn't want to run her up. Strategize. What do I got? That was not 
helpful in any way at all. Oh my god. <laughs> that was uh, such a bad move, too. I feel sorry. Really? Really? And bleeding now. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay, okay. Um, that went a lot better. I know where they are. <laughs> Corner of her mouth lives with a smirk. Step aside. Oh, and Calviac, I gotta ask. Is the display of your trid flashing 12 o'clock back at home? Oh, is that our, like our VCR? <laughs> Monica doesn't even bother jacking into the terminal, and her cyber deck remains slung over her shoulder. <clears throat> her fingers flicker over the terminal's virtual keyboard, and a moment later, a happy chime chirps out of the security node speakers. Bingo. Doors open. Let's go. Good job. Was that option not there before because of reasons? Select a decker. Okay, who is my? Oh, it's me, right? So me. Or am I not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's the Ren Raku Craft Work One is equipped. These are my programs. So, confirm. Oh, wow. This is point of entrance, exit point, and entrance and exit points. Oh, okay. So we gotta fight, like, security cubes. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Well, I have a certain amount of power, though, yeah?
that now? Yes. What's that place over there? Okay. Well, that was cool, I think. <laughs> was that cool? Okay, so, hmm. <clears throat> I don't want everyone to move with me, though. How can I just say, hey, you, Dietrich, stand here? I can't do that, can I? They all have to follow me. So when I go open this door, I gotta run everybody back behind this desk thing. I don't know, because it's my, it's the enemy turn first. So, yeah, I'm going to do this a little more strategic and stuff. I don't think I can see anyone, can I? I no, he has no line of sight of that guy. Okay, uh, Monica, here. Okay. And you, here. And you, my friend. Maybe just... I just go here for now. Let them come to us, right? There he is. Okay, so do I have a shot? I do have light cover. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. I guess I can't get them all. Switch over to gun. Aim shot. Very good shot. She's not a very good shot. <laughs> Dietrich. Dietrich, sir. Dietrich. Let us do... Let us do... do, do, do. These guys have heavy cover now. It's great. Let us do haste. Haste on the moment. Monica, you are now hasted. And that's not, not aim, obviously. Oh my gosh. He looks like Briarios from... Uh, not Pat Lipper. Um, oh my god. I can't think of that anime now. <laughs> Medium cover. Yeah, definitely medium cover. Oh, that works. I should go for him. Glory. Line of sight is blocked. Oh. Good shot. Dang. <laughs> Dietrich, what else you got here, man? What else you got under your sleeve? Yeah, let's do that, eh? Oh, he's getting closer. Ooh, wow. We're behind like heavy cover, so I don't know how you got us. Nice shot. Why can't I think of where Briarios is from? And uh, Duna. What anime is that? <laughs> Duna and Briarios. Is this now selected? Oh, she is. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Single shot. Oh, this one. First shot. Do it. Oh, 
yeah. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody hurt? She's hurt. She's wounded. She's down one point. Okay, I don't want to waste any kind of stuff yet. I'm going to end your turn because you're just my you're my guy that will heal me. Look at that. She's in the open. Look at that. He's in the open. Oh my goodness. These guys aren't too smart. Neither was I last time, but that's okay. Oh, good strike. Throw a knife at him. Go ahead. <laughs> that that worked beautifully. Come on, everyone. I'm sure there's probably more dudes in here somewhere. Maybe. Why why is this like glinking and glowing and like yeah, stuff like that. Confirm. Confirm. So far, so good. Your skirmish is scared. He set it off any alarms. You don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward into the basement. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. I have a bad feeling about this. Dietrich eyes, uh, eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big freak, freaking vault. <laughs> Bigger than on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the other side of this door. Monica combs a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal the black plastic sheath of her data jack. A quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's comm link. Iger, still in position outside the estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. We've been through this before, Iger. You're not in the KSK anymore, and that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us, the same principles that apply to the flux state. Please, spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. Best get used to it, Iger. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that I need an answer. Iger's right, Monica. We should have a second in command just in case. I agree with Dietrich. If someone needs to take charge, it'll happen. Uh, we don't have time for this, Iger. We just have a job to do. Still don't have enough decking. Well, you know, the price is a wood nowadays. I mean, it's probably true that I wouldn't be able to afford enough decking. So. Monica stares at you for a moment, clearly irritated, and then Twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you and speaks in, into her comm link. Very well. We'll do this one Iger's way. While I'm jacked in, Calviok is in charge. There's a pause in Iger's voice crackles out of the comm link. Calviok, did I hear you right? You're putting a rookie in command? I'm no rookie, Iger. And you know it. I thought you were a pro, Iger. Questioning orders in the front of the team. In front of the team isn't exactly a pro move, is it? Listen, Iger. You asked for a decision, and you got one. This is ridiculous. Clear the calm, rookie, now. I could nods at you and smiles. Uh, the smile has disappeared from her face. Listen, Monica, I know that this is a joke to you, but I'm telling you. Iger, Monica's tone all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision's made. You have your answer. Acknowledged. Not another word, Iger's image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. Sorry about that. Iger can be inflexible, the legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing, and she means well. Oh, Iger's a, a girl. 
Uh, it's a legitimate concern. She hardly knows me. Um, as long as she follows orders, she can think what she wants. No sweat. I'll buy her a beer and talk it out after the run. Good man. Our skills are, and experience are invaluable to this team. It would be good to have her on your side. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns towards the tower, fingers poised on the controls of her cyber deck, and glances back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. She then punches it, projecting her consciousness into the cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic sta sta uh, staccato uh, that only an expert decker can achieve. So what I just explained is just going to happen now. Without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasms ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down and see a, nu a nub of pink flesh hit the floor. The tongue, uh, the tip of her tongue. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps towards Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from the data jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team, fallen uh, Decker in a bear hug, holding her against the, the convulsions that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you are only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind you. Help Glory pull the plug out. Smash Monica's cyber deck. Help Dietrich hold Monica down. Uh, while Glory holds Monica's head steadily, you snatch the cord that connects Monica's data jack to her cyber deck. Without a moment's hesitation, you give a solid yank and the cord comes free. A wisp of oily blue smoke uh, traces its way from her data jack to the ceiling. Uh, uh, the commingled sense of charred meat and ozone fill the air. Uh, you've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open, muscles tremors continue to store her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing, and the look of concentration in her eyes. She struggles to speak. I'm gonna get you out of here. Save your breath, Glory's voice is strained. She had a stroke, a bad one. She'll be dead before we're even back to the van. Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out and slick, uh, covering her chest. She expels a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied. She closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shape that she needs. With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze, and something else. Hope? Fair swing, fair, fair swing in G. I don't know what that is. A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts, and then her chin drops to her chest, and her head lulls to one side. Her eyes fixed on an object in the next room, a computer terminal, the soft light of a cursor blinks on the recess screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again, but the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face, and she stops fighting. Her gore-slick jaw goes slack, and she dies. No, my friend Monica. Monica, no, no, this can't be happening, this can't be happening. Got hostiles, this is clearly data vault. We need to get out of here fast. Can't go that way anymore, can we? Um, just kind of stinks that you can't hide behind stuff in here. Oh, I guess we can go here. Oh, huh. That was definitely the wrong guy. Oh, will you stop moving the wrong character? I keep thinking their their move ends, and then that's it. Mm. 
was gonna say Monica, you're like, you're right there. Why can't you hit him? Haste. Haste. Line of sight blocked. Okay, let's end our turns. Oof. Sorry, dude. Where can I go? Line of sight still blocked here. He's flanked, but he's flanked by a wall. Was that one of the rules back then? You could be flanked by a wall? Yes, that could be true. No one see him. Oh. I thought somebody took Oh, you did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too bad. Two hits out of three ain't bad. No line of sight. It's blocked. Can you still see him? No, line of sight block. Okay. No, can I get? Can I help her? I can't help her at all. Can I? Thank you. Oof. Oh my god. She's in the computer. This terminal is printing your name over and over again, Kalviak. You'd better come get over here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not me. Me. Oh, I guess we have to end. Okay. They've sealed the door behind us. We've got to find another way out of here. What are we doing? I think Monica may have inserted a bug into the system before she died. What is it for? Something tells me we're going to have to more company soon. I don't know yet. Watch my back while I figure this out. Text scrolls down. Hit the Y key. <laughs> oh my goodness. As you watch the number of screens slowly bring in the climb, this is going to take a while. He glanced down the second screen to see the facility on high alert in the place of simple data vault. It seems like you stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of the Holdfest grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The doors currently being rebooted by the system's restore process are flashing in dull red. If you're reading this display correctly, the only exit from this room is the Holdfest old servant's entrance on the west side of the building. At that moment, Iger's image winks onto your comm link in the crackling sound. The image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going on down there, rookie? Talk to me. Uh, it was a setup. Sorry, Iger. We couldn't save her. Now we have to get out of here. For an old servant's entrance to the west of the main grounds. We'll rendezvous with you there. No time to explain. We'll be exiting via the old servant's entrance to the west of the main grounds. I need you to keep it the exit clear. Your silence is thick, but she firmly responds. Her tone is professional. Roger that. She cuts out then another word. Glory turns to face you. Her movement smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out of a frosty monotone. What's the play, Kalviak? Our escape route will open in a minute. We hold tight until then. I say we kill every dreckhead who <laughs> enters this room. How does that sound? Uh, Monica found a way to open the door, but it's going to take some time. Dietrich's pain expression lightens a bit. Of course she did. Thanks for everyone we get out of here alive. Now, 
Let's find some cover and wait for the door locks to disarm. Door locks disarm, we make a break for it. Till then, we make them pay for Monica. I like that. He just paying expansion, twist into a mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. Yeah, I'm good with that. Are they coming from behind us? Oh no, it's Dietrich. Uh, this is the exit here. And where would they be coming from? Like literally everywhere else? So I should probably get ourselves over here? Is this is this by how many people we kill or is this turns? Oh, there, never mind. It's right in the top corner. Monitor's kind of big. <laughs> you don't look at the whole thing. You don't see the whole thing. All right. Um. Hum, hum. See if we can survive this. That's like half cover. This is what? My full cover here? Yes. Except for my boy Dietrich, which he has no moves. Okay, now he has moves. Okay, I'm gonna put him. That's me. I'm gonna put my boy here. Yeah. And I'm gonna do. Summon a spirit. Ooh, I like that. Who can do that? Ooh, a wind dancer. I am your wind dancer, a dancer for money. <laughs> okay, not that kind of dancer, I guess, eh? Oh, yeah, he can do stuff, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Electro current, lightning bolt. Oof. So why didn't I bring him up before, eh? Oh, jerks are coming from behind. Line of sight is blocked for who? For me? Really? God, it looks like it's right there. If you say so. Okay. I'm gonna move you over here, bud. I'm gonna, how long does the wind dancer stay up for? Does it give me a time limit? Escape chance, 10%. Is that what I, wait. Oh. I don't want him to escape though, do I? What am I talking about here? Doesn't have any points left to move. Okay. Oh. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Holy shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. She needs to. She needs to get like over here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do I get anything? Can I? No. Line of sight blocked. Can I get these? No. No. Wind dancer, let's go. I don't think he does. Does he do anything? Okay, I still can't see anything for him. I need to heal. Heal my girl here. Oh, nice. Thank you. That was really good. Is that even more people coming in? Uh, let's do an aim shot, because he's pretty far. In sight. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of 
far. Line of sight blocked. Line of sight blocked. Oh man. Okay, what about you, sir? Can you do any of this? No, I don't want to do that. I'll move. Confirm. What happens now? Over here? And you can let electro. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't do that. It's silly. No line of sight. Okay. What about you, my good sir? Does that use? It must use something. Eh? Oh, I just walked into the open. That was not too smart. And I still can't see anything. Line of sight blocked. Line of sight blocked. Okay. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Ay, ay, ay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The figure lopping towards you is big, even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in a suit of heavy overlapping plates. You can see you can see of his face looks raw. what oh what you can see of his face looks raw and slick like old scar tissue stretched tight over his skull he wears an expression of supreme confidence yeah all right friends playtime's over all you shadow runners are the same skulking sneaking steal a vase or two from the museum no harm maybe i'll let you scamper away into the night but now it's too late for that sort of generosity. Visitors aren't welcome down here. The gaping maw of the minigun jerks upwards and impatient gestures towards uh, loaded without malice. Drop your weapons and surrender. That's military grade armor he's wearing, Kalfiok, hardened against small firearms. Small arms fire. <laughs> we'll have a tough time getting through it. I'm less concerned about the armor. I am about that minigun. <laughs> Those things can tear a man in half. You have three seconds before I open the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise I'll make this easy. Something tells me you're going to kill us either way. How about you drop your enormous gun and step over here instead? <laughs> Who are you? Can we talk about this? I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> funny. You're a funny guy. Your orc's gauntleted fingers tighten, and you hear the distinct whir of the Vindicator's motor spinning up to speed, and the barrel begins to blur as he wheels the weapon at your face. Of course he does. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, that's nice. That is fantastic. Uh, what do I don't do with you? Dietrich. Oh, Dietrich, what are we going to do with you? Miss that thing, it's huge. How can you miss that? He's sleeping.
How did... How does that miss? He's like, right there. Wait, but uh, it opened. Did you see that? And now it's closed again. It's not fair. Wow. I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. Uh -huh. Oh wow, you have damage. Oh, my armor's broken. Ah, oh, she's gonna die. Holy smokes, that's a lot of movement. Oh, uh, that was 99%. That was literally 99%. Man, this girl's dying. I need your help. I need you to heal her, please. Thank you. <laughs> this is crazy. Ow. Ooh. I only have to survive one more turn. Turn. She's out. Okay, Dietrich, what do you got? Electricore. Escape. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh wait, I healed himself. Cool. Go go go. Go go go. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> I love D trick. <laughs> I hope you got enough. Sense to get your butt out of here. Is this the way out? It's the exit there. Oh man. And then you are like, I'm getting out of here and I don't care who you are. And Dietrich's like, I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs> oh. Sheesh. Oh no, not you with the grenade. Need one of them to press. The, oh. Yeah, just one of them to press the button. Ah. No. Uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Glory. Get out of here. What was that? Seriously. <laughs> Tiger rises from the corpse of a strewn, uh, from her strewn perch at your approach. From the look on her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. it was a trap. Uh, we'll talk about this later for now. We need to bug out. Couldn't make it. We barely got ourselves. Tell me something I don't know. 
slaps the side of the van, pile in people, and caveat. We get back to the cruise buzzer. The cruise buzzer, ballsy. Uh, we're gonna have a little talk. Yes, ma'am. Tip, hold down Alt key to show interchangeable objects within sight. Interactable. <laughs> Interact, okay. Is that base? Home to nearly half a million people and until very recently, Monica Shaver. Once a melting pot of cultural diversity, it's now a chaotic mess of wealth and poverty, crime and commerce, anarchy and control. It's also home to your own little slice of Berlin, a neighborhood that locals call the Cruise Basser. Basser. I don't know German, I'm sorry. Uh, a safe port in the eye of a storm. The ride back to Cruise Basser is quiet. Uh, no one is in the talking mood. As the van veers past potholes and garbage piles, the glare of streetlights and neon signs play across your windows, painting the world in a kaleidoscope of garish colors. Soon the van rounds a corner and skids to a halt in a narrow, crumbling alley. This is as far as Berlin, Berlin's chaotic streets will take you. Your team wordlessly de uh, debarks the vehicle and climbs down into a disused section of the U-Bahn tunnel system. Uh, a well-kept secret providing your team safe passage to the Cruise Basar. Cruise Basar. Uh, your safe house awaits on the other side. Game auto-saved. <laughs> I see. Let's get inside. Okay. Can't happen fast enough, love. Sooner we get there, sooner I can get drunk. You step inside, and the squalor of the disused U-Bahn tunnel gives way to the warmth of your safe house. A man waits inside, silhouetted against the dim fluorescent lighting. Excuse me, everyone. Paul Amsel. Something bad has happened, hasn't it? He steps forward, revealing a pale and expressionless face, light glinting off the steel room glasses. Oh, like in the animes where they go and it's like glows up and everything. It's cool. Paul Amsel, your team fixer and landlord, part deal maker, part information broker, one of the most well connected men in Berlin. His eyes sweep across the team. As he talk, takes it all in, grim face, the hard stares, Iger's fury, Monica's absence. I had a feeling. How did she... His face has gone ashen. He swallows, takes a moment to chew on the words before spitting them out. How did it happen? Something in the vault security system got her while she was jacked in. It was over in an instant. Uh, the run was a setup. One minute she was cracking a safe, the next she was on the ground screaming. I've seen Monica hit black IC before. This, this was something worse. Glory nods, her motions robotic inspire. Monica died of a biofeedback induced stroke. That's right, Iger thrust a glove finger into your chest, and this idiot stood by and let it happen. Brush her finger aside. That's bull, Iger. You weren't even in the room. Shove her hand away. Poke me again, I dare you. Ignore it. Let it happen? She jacked in. She screamed. And she seized. By that time, we saw was she was in trouble. It was already too late. Yeah, because you never bothered learning what to look for. Muscle contractions and micro tremors are good indications of a decker in distress. I assume, uh, I'm assuming you didn't have anyone keeping an eye on for those. No, if you had, my friend would be lying. Wouldn't be lying dead in a basement. Oh, shove off, Iger. We were all on the lookout for physical security. Calviar concluded, throwing him under the bus isn't going to help anything. Under a bus is exactly where he belongs. Iger turns to face Dietrich. 
She towers over him, but he stands his ground. I respect you, Dietrich. You know that, but you don't have my training. None of you have. Monica was good. She was the best, right? But she was also overconfident. She treated the job like it was a game. Do that long enough and you're going to get burned. Iger turns her focus back to you. If you'd been paying attention, you'd have figured all of this out on your own by now. You'd have known that Monica needed watching as much as the door. Enough, Iger. Russell's voice is hoarse, his expression blank. Enough. Iger pushes ahead, uh, heedless of the interruption. Her voice remains measured, but there's fire in her eyes. How many seconds pass between Monica's first convulsion and her plug getting pulled? Four? Five? Do you know how much damage biofeedback could do to a Decker's brain in five seconds? And how dare you? You don't have to answer that, of course you know. Monica died while you stood there and watched. This is all your... That's enough! Emsel's voice comes out in a roar, and his fist smashes down on the table behind him. Iger, you and Calvia can have it out later, but I've had enough. We need to take... Uh, we need to talk. Action. Our client sent you into something much bigger than he led us to believe. I want to know why. Right there with you. This was supposed to be a milk run. Payback isn't the only reason why we need to find him. We saw something back there. Something that we weren't supposed to see. It's fair to assume that we're all still in danger. He pauses and rubs his temple. Agreed. And to neutralize that danger, we need to know who we are dealing with. Let us review the events that transpired tonight. The smallest detail could be important, so hold nothing back. Uh, the estate was just a front for whatever was going on in the basement. After everything went to hell, we were confronted by an orc in military-grade armor. Monica lived long enough to say the name for Schwarzwingji. Uh, she fought hard to tell us it must be important. And so seems taken aback. He pauses for a moment before responding. The fire wing. This is unexpected. You'll have to forgive me. This brings back many unpleasant memories. Glory raises an eyebrow. The fire wing? The most terrible of great dragons. There are those who would disagree, but they never experience the terror of, a li of living in her shadow. He glances at Glory. You are far too young to remember her, of course, but for Germans of my generation, the name Bjurschwinger is synonymous with chaos, destruction, and death. Uh, the dragons of today are subtle creatures, full of patience and guile. First Schwinger was not. After her, I'm going to have to put that through Google Translate so it can speak it to me because I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, after her awakening, she went on a four-month rampage that claimed tens of thousands of lives. Amsel takes a deep breath, slowly releases it. There's a haunted look in his eyes. Those were dark days. Countless men and women, children were slaughtered, roasted alive in their homes by a creature of legend. No hope for salvation and no end in sight. It was a horror that you cannot begin to understand. What stopped her? I can't imagine that a rampaging dragon would just go away on its own. Eventually, the fire wing was brought down by a man named Dr. Adrian Vauclair. Well, with the help of the Luftwaffe, of course. But it was an experimental weapon designed by Dr. Vauclair that finally pierced her hide. She fell in a hail of bullets and rocket fire and crashed down into the radioactive wasteland of the Sox. The event was called the Dragonfall. Hey, the title of the game. Safe at last from the dragon's wrath, Germany celebrated Vauclair as a hero. Our own Siegfried, a modern-day dragon slayer. My own family practically worshipped the man. If the Dragonfall was so important and an event as you make it out to be, I'm surprised that I've never heard of it. Those early years of the Awakening were traumatic, Iger. Not just on a national level, but on a global scale. Oh. Always get, always get sleepy when I read. I don't know why. Uh, new species of awakening animals were 
uh, being discovered daily. Within two years of the Dragonfall, the active use of magic had been returned to the world, a new source of terror for a bewildered public. And in 2021, hey, we're there. Uh, the sudden emergence of orcs and trolls gave rise to yet another wave of global panic. Even though I think this takes place in 2057 or something. 2057, is that right? Uh, I think I read it here somewhere. Yeah. Uh huh. Great firing, raging. Yep, okay. Yeah. Only happened a few years, okay. Uh, no, it wasn't there. 2054. takes place in 2054. So technically 2021 in this is history. And yet, I don't remember a dragon falling at all. Do you? Uh, he rubs his temples. Again, all of uh, this happening decades ago. To the best of my knowledge, the story of Fershwinge. Ferrur. Ferrurswing. Um, yeah. It's a bit of a historical trivia and nothing more. All right, so Monica spent her dying breath trying to tell us about a long-dead dragon. Iger sweeps her eyes across the group, searching for a glimmer of insight. Finally, she gives up. Any ideas as to why? Amso's voice trembles with frustration. No, it doesn't make any more sense than me, uh, to me than it does to you. A dragon falls in ancient history. Uh had been dead and gone for 42 years. But there's one thing that I do know. Whatever Monica saw, whatever she was trying to tell us, it was important. He visibly struggled to calm himself, take a deep breath and slowly release it. I will look into this. I will find the answers. In the meantime, did you turn up anything else of value? The estate was just a front for whatever was in the basement. Oh yeah, military great guy. He appeared to be the head of security. That is not much to go on. Do any details about this orc come to mind? Any disgusting features that I can look into? He was an older guy for one. From the sound of his voice, I'm guessing mid to late 40s. Pretty old for an orc. And he had skin grafts. Most of his face looked like replacement material. If the grafts came from a legitimate hospital, there may be some medical records. Well, that is something. I will see what I can find out. Did you note anything else during uh, the run that may be of value? I guess we're just answering all the questions. It's kind of weird that they give you to click them all. Um, uh, that much is clear. Uh, it wasn't a minor enterprise either. The facility took serious funds to build. And time. There was more to it than we saw. Places like that just don't spring up overnight. And all in secret, the owners whoever they may be, were none too pleased with your escape, I'm sure. What else did you find? Uh, not much. Ansel yeah, nods his face, drawn haggard. Um, it is thin, I agree. Basement, middle age, orc, and skin grafts of long forgotten world events. Uh, you haven't said anything about our client yet, Paul. Holding out on us? Whoever set this up is walking this. We were set up. Um, oh, Calviac, I'm not holding out. I'm tired and I'm frustrated. I already miss Monica. He takes a moment. I did not think to mention our employer because I did not set up the job. Monica did. I warned her. I told her not to take this run, but she assured me it would be a cakewalk. Monica was approached recently by a man who calls himself Green Winters. He used... Uh, to be a prominent activist in the F-State uh, political scene. I never much liked the man. I certainly never trusted him. But Monica, she would do anything for her cause, anything for the Flux State. Winter swore that the data he was after was crucial to ensuring the future of the stability of the Flux. And that was all it took. We need to trap down Monica's client. Yes, most definitely. It's clear that Green Winters has involved us in something much larger than he led Monica to believe. When he finds out what happened on the run, he's probably going to grab it. We need to chase him down before that happens. So we need information on Green Winters, and we need it fast. There's a man here in Kreserbacher, uh, a Turk named Altug 
Burak Ghazi. Uh, he owns a little Soikov uh, shop just down the way called Cafe uh, Sev. 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 Sevu. <laughs> this man is also uh, a purveyor of information. I've done business with him from time to time. And you think he would know something about Green Winters? When I discovered Monica's renewed association with Green Winters, I contacted Old Tug. Uh, one of his people has been keeping tabs on Winters ever since. As I said, I did not trust the man. For good reason, it would seem. I'll talk to Old Tug and see Oh, he knows about Green Winters. Very well. Tell him I sent you. I will do what I can to dig up the information that you uncovered already. Sparse though it may be. Ooh, with that. Dante. Dante. Let's go pet Dante. Dante. As you start towards the safe house door, a large four-legged form steps across the door. Dante, Monica's dog, an enormous mongrel with intermediate and inter... Inter... Oh my goodness. Maybe I just can't see it. A uh, little whimper emerges as he enters the room, head hanging low. Oh no, Dante. Don't worry, boy. We'll look after you. He started whimpering about an hour ago. Turned into a full-blown howl. Wouldn't stop. Kept. That's when he realized something bad had happened. Looking down into those huge brown eyes, you see intelligence and sadness. He let out a small whine and rubs his head against you. Scratch Dante's head. Dante leans into you and looks up mournfully, pressing his ribs against your leg. I guess the dog is going with you, Calvia. Well, perhaps a part of Monica lives on in Dante. Return to the safe house when you're finished with old dog. My front, my f me. F <laughs> with a little luck, he can help us locate okay, Green Winters. Uh, and we can get to the bottom of this. And now I think we should all take a moment for Monica. Perfect. Great idea. Well, well. So that, my friends, is Shadowrun Daggerfall. Or Dragonfall. Daggerfall. Daggerfall is something else. And that's Bethesda. <laughs> so, let me just exit this game. It's interesting. It's interesting. I think if we get more and more into it, it'll become easier. Because I know that was kind of scripted for, you know, us to get in a bad bad position but then i like died on the first mission that was crazy so it's a lot of strategy and extra thinking but i wasn't expecting that. the extra thinking part i was kind of hoping for just an easy cakewalk at least to you know understand the mechanics and stuff at the first part <laughs> instead of just like oh my god i'm overwhelmed and i'm dying yeah but you know what I think we should maybe just throw in some Saints Row for another 20 minutes and then and call it a night. Saints Row 4. Update. Update, update. You know what? I have been looking at the wrong screen this entire time. I don't know. Nope. Nope. Wow, it dropped some frames though. So much for getting the new internet connection. That seems to be working smashingly. 